restful weekend, I hope. Uh, psychologist, writer, podcaster, Dr. Linda Papadopoulos. Welcome back, Linda. I nothing else we're here. That's it. Mm-hmm. I just got dietary, so no nine here. Joking. <laughs> so I've been thinking, we've been talking a lot about the importance of eating five fruits and vegetables a day and keeping your health up. But I think if we look at it psychologically, there's an emotional five a day that if we did, I think we'd all be better off. So I thought I'd kind of speak about what those things might be. I think first and foremost, um, there's something about pausing. You know, we're human beings, not human doings. And I think in a world that's sort of filled with this sense of constantly being on, I think our technology makes us feel like that. I think the fact that we compare makes us feel like that. Doing one thing in the day that just allows you to pause and just be. Now, for some people, that's mindfulness or in yoga. For others, it's playing with their kids. For others, it's just closing your eyes and sitting back. It's vital. Literally, diarizes the same way that you would a meeting. Spend a day is connection. We're social beings. We need that connection. It doesn't always have to mean, you know, a, a deep and meaningful talk with a friend, although that's really helpful. It can mean sending a message. It can mean sharing a laugh. But making a point of connecting every day, I think, is key. The third thing is gratitude. There's an abundance of research as to why this is good. And I think the fundamental reason is, is that our brains are primed to look for threat and feel anxious about it and try and fix it. Showing gratitude, looking for things that you're grateful for, almost sort of reprograms the brain to look at for the good. The fourth thing I would say is looking for mastery and pleasure. Now we've known for years with people with mood disorders, if you get them to do something every day that they're either good at or that makes them feel good, that sense of purpose, sense of well-being. And the final thing what I would say is that sometimes we get so caught up with our thoughts that we forget to think about how we're thinking. And spending a few minutes thinking about your thoughts, this idea of metacognition, means that we don't have to engage with the silly thoughts that pop into our heads. So, Am I doing this all or nothing thinking thing? Am I exaggerating the negatives? Am I polarizing? Kind of stepping back gives you a greater sense of control. So I think that emotional five a day, if we were to employ it, and we were to employ it regularly, would put us into a routine that would make us feel just better overall. Yeah. Things, really. yeah, amazing how a walk became something we all looked forward to, right? Well, we, so, all the time, yeah. because where we were. Absolutely. In Hackney. And what about the corner? Linda, Susie? Just reunion. Oh, article. <laughs> yeah, we had thinking in here, which I really enjoyed, and that's the cost of. Could you do un once you made it? Okay. Yeah. Dr. Linda, Susie, anything? Um, just a six radios. To two, Dr. Linda. Halfway there.